Hey, what's going on YouTube? So today we're gonna be doing yet another web shooter project. If you haven't seen my last like three videos on this, definitely go check them out. Um, and I thought, hey, if three and a half million people were interested in this idea, then it makes sense to do another part. Today I'm gonna show you how to make two more really cool cartridges uh, that work with this. So if you haven't seen this video, go check it out. I'll link it uh, somewhere. Description probably is a good bet. So yeah, this should be a fun video. Uh, and if you don't have access, to a 3D printer, or I just don't want to make my first web shooter, um, which didn't involve a 3D printer, but worked exactly the same way. Um, you just couldn't switch out the cartridges. Uh, if you don't want to do any of that, just want to get one of these, just uh, head on over to my Instagram, at video. follow me, and go ahead and like the picture of uh, me holding this uh, web shooter gadget right here. I'll just go through the likes and uh, pick some winners. I might actually 3D print a few more of these because they're uh, pretty easy for me to do. Uh, yeah, so multiple winners, links below. Just go click it right right down there. So the first thing I'm gonna show you is how to make actual webs come out of this. So in the past, I've done like soap and water, which um, creates kind of like this foam effect, but uh, a lot of you are saying, it's not webs, I know, trust me. But today I'm gonna show you a way to actually get webs similar to Silly String, well, that actually is Silly String, into this lighter cartridge so you can shoot it out from your wrist. All right, so some helpful tips I found for making the uh, Silly String web gun cartridge work is uh, you wanna use cheap Silly String, so like the knockoff brand. Um, this confetti string I found actually worked better than the Silly String. Um, I don't know why, I, I guess just the chemicals in here. So as you saw, like the concept behind getting Silly String into the lighter cartridge um, is quite simple really. All you have to do is just pop off the top uh, right here, uh, put the lighter on top, tip it over, and push down the lighter button at the same time as uh, pushing 
it into the can. So both the can valve and the lighter valve open and then the can can uh, shoot the string up into the lighter. Super simple in theory, except it might take a few tries to get it to work uh, because if any of this silly string comes in contact with air, it'll start hardening and clog the whole thing up. Um, so yeah, I went through probably about close to 10 different lighters uh, before I figured out exactly how to do it well. All of these lighters right here, that was a bad idea. Quite a few lighters. What you wanna do is get a little bit of butane in the canister before and that helps out with the equalization of pressure. So the second cartridge thing I'm gonna show you how to make is a glow-in-the-dark web solution. Uh, this is really cool, I think. Um, if you turn off the lights in my workshop right now, it just, it's just glow-in-the-dark stuff everywhere. All the actual spiders down here are gonna be like, what the fuck is going on? The only thing I have to say about the uh, glow in the dark cartridge, um, it's pretty straightforward. Just, uh, just break open some glow sticks, kind of put them in like a container and add some soap, but just be careful not to cut yourself on the glass that's inside of the uh, glow sticks. Um, just pull out the rod and carefully break them open. And also, if you want to make your glow solution glow a lot brighter, just uh, get like some heat underneath it. Uh, maybe heat up the container. I just put a lighter underneath it and uh, it speeds up the chemical reaction that's in the glow sticks and uh, makes your solution glow a lot brighter and it looks so cool. All right guys, well I hope you did enjoy this video. Uh, if you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. Also, if you wanna win this uh, Spider-Man web shooter, um, giving away a few of them on my Instagram, all you gotta do once again, follow me and uh, like the picture. So hope you found this video entertaining. 
definitely remember to hit that subscribe button down below. I've got a lot of cool projects in the works, so definitely don't want to miss out on that. Also, let me know what uh, you guys want to see me do in the future down in the comments below. I did this video as another part to my web gun video because it just did really well. And yeah, that lets me know that a lot of people want to see that. So obviously I'm going to make more of that type of video. Anyway guys, that's all I've got for this video and I will catch you in the next one. Peace out.